back to my channel, Jamie Fran Colors. I'm Jamie, and today we're working on our second Tetrid color scheme. Alright, so we're coming to the end of our color wheel mini series, and we're gonna do our second Tetrid color scheme today. That's where you take two sets of complementary colors, which are colors straight across the color wheel from each other, and use them as your color scheme. So today we're using blue-violet right here, and yellow to orange, and then green and red. So they're two sets of complementary colors. If you want more information on complementary colors or the color wheel in general, I have past videos of that in this mini series, so go watch those. Um, we're going to work in Mythographic Animals by Joseph Kattenbing. So I'm excited. This will be our second one in here. Oh, let me show you these colors on my scrap paper here. Just so we have a blue violet color. with a yellow orange and then we have red and green all right hopefully those are true to color on your screen so those are the base coat for our scheme here. Let me write down my numbers. Froggy, I think he'll be cute because we have lots of green and yellow. I think will work, and then we'll have those complementaries of blue, violet, and red. So I'm gonna base coat this, and then we'll add some pencils.
right, there is so much going on in this picture and I think we get the point with the colors. So I am gonna do what I do quite often when I have a picture that I like the subject but I don't particularly like the background. I've done this in quite a few of the Jasmine Beckett Griffith pictures, um, all sorts of pictures. I'm going to block out the background with my Posca black paint pens and I have them in a multitude <laughs> of sizes here. It helps me get into every nook and cranny. So let's do that. <laughs> picture. He's all blacked out. I could do a little better on my blocking, but that's okay. All right, let's look at the green. I have pulled, well, let me show you the colors I pulled to start with. So I have two reds, Scarlet Lake, Crimson Lake, and then two purple blues, um, Imperial Violet and Violet Blue. And then I pulled Prussian green, spring green, and dark green, and then Spanish orange and yellow to orange. All in the Prismacolors, they're all linked down below. <clears throat> all right, let's see here. So let's start with our dark green. Then some Scarlet Lake. All right, let's take some yellowed orange. Okay, and then I wanna take the Imperial Violet.
Okay, here's some white. So here is our second Tetrad color scheme. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying these names. Um, like I said on Wednesday's video, this color scheme is not something that I usually sit down and say, okay, I'm going to pick a Tetrad color scheme to color this whole picture with. But it is nice to know like how your colors are relating to one another and um, being able to pick as you go and so I think it's good and it was kind of a challenge to do with the Tetrad color schemes and make it make it look like it really goes nice together. I know I colored out a lot of this background. I was just way too busy for, for my likings today. Another day I would have sat down and thought it was fun and enjoyable. Today it was just a little too much for me and that's okay. It's your coloring book. You have that prerogative to do whatever you want with it. So if you don't like a background, grab some black markers and block it out. Do what you want, you know, it's your coloring book. Um, I hope you enjoy enjoyed this um, mini series on the color wheel. I think on Monday, I think it's Monday, either Monday or Wednesday, I'm gonna kind of wrap this up and talk to you a little bit more and then we will start something else. So yeah, on Monday I will. So if, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That helps me out, you guys. I really like this little froggy, he's kind of cute. <laughs> And I hope you guys have an awesome weekend and you have time to color, relax, enjoy yourself. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.